Hello everyone, in this tutorial I want to show you how you can analyze land use land cover change detection in ArcMap. You see that's land use land cover change for 2001 and also for 2021. As determine it, then uh, the area put it in Excel as you see that's for 2001 and that's for 2021. You see the change. Ian Forest is decreased by five square kilometer and mixed forests by 27 square kilometer also water body increased it 2001 to 2021 also the change is plotted in Excel let's do it first you have to search for USGS Earth Explorer to download your required data but please if you have a problem for downloading your data I put a link of my tutorial which everything explaining to download your data okay from earth explorer search for search criteria and then uh, select geoding, uh, geocoding method select address place here write your target area hungary so okay click here you have to see this symbol in your study area okay and from here you can determine uh, the time for example i use from 1990 okay and here okay close data sets and from data set go to nasa and select it uh, modis land cover the middle one modis mcd 12 q1 v skis result okay results but please if you have a problem look at my tutorial to downloading your data everything is explained i put the link in uh, description now i want to download uh, for 2020 you see this one 2020 just Click the print foot, uh, footprint and download. Select it HDF format. Okay. Also, I want to download. Here, uh, down uh, requires uh, Ares Data NASA .gov account. I don't want to create here, but I already created in the uh, video. I put it in the description. Here is data, here is data NASA login. I have my account. You have to uh, log into this one. Okay. And come back for your Earth Explorer again. Footprint download. This time. You can download it easily yes and also uh, for year also for year 2001 footprint download it okay Go to your downloads. Yes, select it boss. Control copy. It in YouTube file. I click here for the tutorial. This is 2001. Change name. 2001. This one data for 2020. Okay, now open your uh, arc map, bring the data, 2001, and you can select it boss. Okay, yes, okay, yes, close. Now I have data for 2001 and 2020. You can change if you want, you can change the color. 
now we need uh, bring the shape file for uh, Hungary we don't need this one anymore search for divagis divagis shape file download data by country search for Hungary or your target study area okay download show in folder right click extract to here okay uh, copy or get this file and go to your folder yes go back to your arc map add Hungary select it at okay now if I uncheck this one this one oh no just check this one yes you can remove this one okay first I want for 2001 that's for 2001 and from convert uh, extraction from arc toolbox go to extraction special analysis tool extraction extraction by mask okay input raster 2001 input uh, raster or feature mask data hungary this one and change name 2001 save okay Good. Now we have to change it to polygon shape file from conversion. Search for conversion. Raster to polygon. Okay. Input raster. Hungary 2001. Okay. Output. Hungary 2001. Save. Okay. Now you can uh, uncheck this one also. Zoom in. Uncheck this one also. Good. If you right click, click right click, open attribute table. You see you have many grid code. I want to change. From geo processing, go to dissolve. Input feature Hungary P2001. You can say dissolve 2001. Save according to grid code. Grid code, okay. Yes, you can uncheck this one and right click open attribute. You see, you have only one to 17 grid code it's so important to uh, define your land cover okay now i want to find the area field you can say area double but area square kilometer okay square kilometer Okay, you see if you calculate uh, if you calculate geometry, yes, you see we don't have uh, any coordinate system of the data source and also of the data frame. We have to provide it. How we can do it? Let's see. For data frame, this one. Right click properties and now I want to change it geographic coordinate system world not this one projected coordinate system UTM WGS northern hemisphere because because Hungary located in 34 north 
this one. Okay. Yes. That's for data frame and for data source. Just uh, from our toolbox, data management tool, projection and transformation project. It. This all of two thousand one. Okay. Output coordinate system. Projection project coordinate system UTM WGS Northern thirty four. Okay, dissolve. Yes, now we are ready to find area. Open attribute. You see it directed. Uh, area and shape length is calculated but I don't want uh, this to uh, column just turn off this one also turn off I want this one area in square kilometer right click calculate geometry yes area you see now we have a project coordinate system for data source and data frame Use coordinate system of data fr uh, data frame. This one square kilometer. Okay. Yes. Now we have uh, the area in square kilometer. Also, we have to provide another uh, field class thousand one. Okay, you see, and also from editor, start editing uh, this one. Okay, continue. According to this grid code, we can uh, determine uh, the land cover for this areas. Okay, from download PDF. We have this guide MCD 12 of Q1 version case shows the uh, land cover for each grid code. That is the grid code. Is you see number 17 is a water body, number 16 barn, uh, and so on. One evergreen uh, forest is evergreen broadleaf forest is uh, number five mixed forest. I put this PDF in the uh, description of the video of the tutorial you can find it easily okay now we have to name all this grid codes okay number one I have to I have to put uh, abbrevi abbreviations because this uh, column can only store 50 letters. Okay, now I can uh, remove this column also. This one also. This grid code and this area required. And uh, according to this grid code, I can name this uh, areas. First one. You can just write E N forests. I, I have to put abbreviations because it can't store more than 50 capitals letters. Number four B B forests. Number five we have mix it. Forests. Number seventeen water body.
editor stop editing yes okay now you have to do the same for uh, 2020, uh, 2020 also the same process for 2020 I skip it for you okay now you can remove this one remove this one also remove 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 now you can say blue leg 2021 Lulek 2001 okay open attribute table select it right click copy select it go to excel control v this one also Open attribute table, select it, copy select it, go to Excel, paste, good. You see, we have number three grid code we don't have here, so I control that control X here and put here okay number three you can use zero and for access control copy v now you can say you can write this one control copy v change area square kilometer 2000 one minus 2021 okay now you can just equal this one minus this one you see and drag to the end if you look it at it you see en forest decrease it by minus four or five square kilometer dn forest is minus a point 21 uh, decrease it and uh, db forest minus 351 square kilometer decrease it mix it forest decrease it about this range woody savannas decrease it only grassland increase it P uh, permanent wetland decrease it cropland increase it significantly increase it now we can plot uh, this two column just select it and insert and from chat okay okay that is uh, this table shows the uh, changes if uh, the land use land cover data as you see that's all I hope it can be helpful have a nice time